What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. Well, what kind of American are you? Oh, that's the question. <laughs> what kind of American are you? Guys, welcome to the channel, and in this case, reacting to the movie Civil War, I was asked to you know, share my opinion on this. This is a best scene by far. I love this. And actually, it's the, it's the only good scene in the movie. But hey, the, the character, the actor, great job. I also love, like, the complete no fucks giving about the trigger discipline. Mag looks a little bit way too clean for his hands that are so dirty. Love the touch of the Elton, Do Elton John glasses. And way too tidy hair. Looks like recently bleached out. So, you know, a, a couple of things. But the acting, fantastic. And that's the... You know, the topic, right? Civil War. How would it go down? What do I think about this? Uh, well, let's first cover the movie. The movie is, a, I think it's a missed opportunity. It could have been very interesting to see a movie that honestly, with, a, with an open heart, presented how the um, director or writer uh, thought this would play out. How is it that a, a civil war would happen in the United States? Um, they don't have the guts for that. They just show you the obviously bad guy who has to be, of course, the more right-wing, conservative, pro-American kind of guy. And okay, you, you would expect that from Hollywood, but they don't even have the guts to go all in, you know, in terms of, yeah, it broke, it, I think it's like California aligns with Texas or something like that. I don't even remember exactly how it goes down, but it's confusing and not clear enough that I don't even remember. So that just goes to show uh, how... Um, well presented that point was you do have this thing of the the reporters being the good guys right these are the good guys and they are the the open-minded liberal people and at some point they gather in a in a hippie commune kind of bullshit thing uh, that's kind of it but in terms of the movie this scene was pretty good and the irony yet sometimes that uh what kind of american are you and he goes like are you central american are you South American? I would be South American, but it would be nice. It would be rich if the guy says, yes, I'm North American because North America actually includes Mexico, Canada, and Greenland, you know? So that would be quite interesting. But yeah, you, you guess he's asking and one of the guys there says, I'm from Hong Kong. And he says like Hong Kong, China. He gets it right away. Um, yeah, a, a civil war would be pretty brutal. There's another scene that I think is, is pretty good, which is this one. Where he's the the, the journalists the, the, the yeah the journalists are looking to buy gas. Three hundred buys you a sandwich. We got ham. Yeah, like joking, like three hundred dollars buys you nothing at all, lady. That hits close to home because I've gone through that thing of your money doesn't buy you a damn thing anymore. But hey, you you have U.S. dollars. You have some other currency that is actually valuable okay yeah you you have my attention sir now right and, and that's kind of what they're going for here where she says like 300 canadian oh canadian money that is actually worth a lot okay yeah let, let's let's negotiate now so you you have a, a license for buying or a fuel no well i could still sell sell you some if if you give me some of those canadians that, that is a real thing. That happens. Uh, we, we, we went through that, by the way, as always, recommending my books if you're interested in this sort of stuff, especially this kind of thing where money is worth very, very little, surviving the economic collapse. And, of course, for the practical stuff, street survival skills, on the using of firearms and such things to keep you safe from people that are out there looking to do harm uh, or take what is yours in times of desperation that would be the case in a civil war yes yes it would be so in terms of the movie these two scenes would be the ones that are more and then there's i guess there's good action scenes here and there at some point uh i see it of course as i said a, a missed opportunity of you know this is how i think a civil war would go down now how is it that a civil war would go down in the united states if something like that ever happens I don't think it's really that likely anymore. I think that the, the kind of breakdown uh, that you see is not all that different from what you see already. Like uh, uh, states and cities being very different from what um, the, the people surrounding those areas are and sometimes happens within a state. 
where the people that live in a city vote very liberal, very to the left, very much to the left, and the people that live on the surrounding areas and more on the on the countryside or more in the small town communities, they're a lot more conservative and they're not feeling represented at all. Um, I guess that it would be like imagine something that's being held together by a net, right? By by the the overlords, by the government, by the federal government held, holding it together as the pieces within crumble and break, but still held together. Civil war would be when that net actually breaks and all of the pieces just fall apart. Um, I don't think that's likely. I think it's closer than it's been in a very long time. I think that right now it's the closest it's ever been from the first one. So you see a lot of people being extremely poorly represented by their uh, elected officials. We are now looking at an election that is going to be uh, critical. You have Joe Biden that I was reading from even CNN right now is saying that it's been a disaster. When CNN says that uh, Biden is a disaster, then you know things are getting bad. <laughs> are they trying to replace him with some other candidate that's maybe more digestible? You know, someone that they could shove down your throat if it comes down to it. I, I don't know, man. I think that uh, people are very divided. You can, you can barely bring up these uh, topics now. And I've said this many times before. It used to be that you could sit on a family table, you know, family dinner, holiday, Christmas, whatever it is, and um, people with different opinions would just you know maybe chit chat a little bit, but overall you just get along. That is not the case anymore for a lot of people. I, I, I'm not even exaggerating. I've lost count of how many times uh, I've been emailed or told about, uh, oh, yes, you, you know what? We, I don't speak with my son anymore, with my daughter anymore. I got divorced because of this. I don't speak to my brother anymore. My parents are impossible. I just can't. I haven't talked with them uh, in, in years. All of these multiple times I've heard of. Um, so it's very much divided, divided nation, divided families, uh, and I, I, I call this when uh, Obama first got elected. When Obama got elected, uh, I, I said, this man will divide this nation. This man is pitting. It's us versus them. We are the good guys. Anyone that is not with us. And he was maybe, and it's, it's crazy that you think about it. Like, he was more, like, presidential, as, as ironic and as sad as that is. But compare uh, uh, Obama with Biden. I mean, a man that cannot even finish a sentence anymore. Uh, literally the case that the man cannot finish a sentence anymore. So someone that would lie through his teeth, but still... He could stand up right and finish sentences versus what you have now is very different. Um, but that just shows the decay, the, the, the slow sliding into something that is, um, it's not showing any kind of, what kind of future, what kind of hope do you have for the future now with everything that you see? So there's going to be a lot of people that have a lot of hope because most likely Trump will be elected. Okay, and I, I've read the comments. I asked for said comments in the previous video. Um, maybe I'm a little bit more pessimistic in general. That is kind of one of my, <laughs> one of my known characteristics, one of my known traits. I, I am that way because I've been through a lot of this stuff. So that's why I ended up this way. Uh, I, I've seen these things not turn out very well. Uh, and I don't think that's a, a guy that will do much. As I said, I, I like Ron DeSantis. If, you, if you've told me that, yeah, next president, Ron DeSantis. Okay, yeah, maybe things could, you know, or someone else. It's not all the same. Not everyone is the same. But just because you show me Biden and Trump, uh, what is it? I have to be super excited for one and super uh, uh, upset and and negative about the other. Well, uh, I'm kind of <laughs> I'm not seeing it with either one. That is just my opinion. You may have something completely different, and I know, of course, I'm not an idiot. I know that's not the same thing in terms of what kind of people either one of these uh, figures represents. I know the kind of people that usually uh, are more on the Trump side of things, and the kind of people that I mean, what kind of person? 
stands on the side of uh, Biden these days, someone that is completely lost and confused, right? So I have my disagreements with many of the things. And if you want the super short version, I would have liked to see Fauci incarcerated for what he did. I would have liked to not see War Speed back a project go down the way it did. I would have liked to see a lot less spending and a lot more fiscal responsibility. I would have liked to not even heard a word of a bump stock ban to begin with. Um, and a very different foreign policy. Those are the, the things that I would have liked to see um, you know, not play out the way they did. But again, yes, of course, uh, <laughs> Biden is... It, it, Biden is not even a candidate for even his own party anymore at this. Today, even for Democrats, they're just, I, I think they're looking for something else to run with. Uh, but yeah, guys, complicated moments in, in, the, in, in the political scenery right now. And that's my take on the uh, Civil War movie. Folks, see you on our next time. Take care.